Hi everyone, let's see if we can get into a lighter energy. I know some of you guys asked for a new love reading too. I'm going to do that soon within the next few days. I feel like that's going to be another heavy reading though probably. And I did just do another reading too that was, you know, same energy group I've been channeling the last week, week and a half. Um, I'm probably going to wait to put that one out just because that was kind of heavy too. I just want to do something light, just a basic, maybe 15, 20 minute reading. Um, I also want to make sure that I'm channeling multiple energy groups and not just the same energy group because I know there's, you know, there's several different energy groups on this channel. So I want to make sure everyone gets something. <clears throat> so let's just try to get into a, just a light reading here. May or may not be for you. <clears throat> like some of these readings will resonate with you and then others will not resonate with you because like I said, channeling multiple energy groups. The Empress, the King of Wands, Six of Cups, Four of Swords, Nine of Wands, Queen of Cups. I think that you're really in your power right now with the Empress. <clears throat> or you could be the King of Wands, male or female. Somebody's in their power. And there's somebody that's... I'm almost feeling like somebody here is seeing you in your power and they... Six of Cups. It's like they're nostalgic for you. And they're contemplating on taking action. Nine of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Tower. Why the Tower? <clears throat> Ten of Cups. Okay, that's really interesting. I feel like you're coming into your power. And somebody is kind of just wanting you to go back to being more of a Queen of Cups. More like they don't like the Empress is all four queens combined. You know, the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. And it's almost like they don't want your attention on all those different things. They just want you to be the Queen of Cups, which is, you know, emotional, warm, nurturing. <clears throat> um, it looks like they're willing to put the work in, though. It's like they need they need to see that you being an empress is not a threat. It's not this might be somebody that's a little bit insecure and like they see you being an empress as a threat. Like, oh, no, now she's all four queens combined. But they don't realize that they could work on themselves and they can match you and become the emperor. They can match you. You guys could be a power couple. You guys could be the emperor and the empress. So it's almost like they're wanting you to go back to a past easy, past, past easy, past energy that's easier for them to understand. I was really hoping we get like a new energy group because this does kind of seem like the same one that's coming through. So I guess I'll be doing multiple readings. I don't know. <laughs> Tell me number about the tower and the ten of cups. <clears throat> Page of Wands, Strength. Hmm. Tell me more about these three cards. Queen of Cups, Tower, Ten of Cups, the Hierophant, the Five of Cups. I feel like this person's having a lot of regrets. I think that they realize with the Hierophant, the Hierophant can be marriage, but the Hierophant is also kind of like a my way or the highway energy. It's kind of, it can be like a stubborn energy of doing things the traditional way, doing things a certain way. And I think this person is realizing that if they stick to that, if they stick to those control issues, if they don't have that inner strength to to tame that beast, if they, if they stick to those control issues, they're going to lose something here. They're going to be left out. So it looks like the Eight of Pentacles, they're... They're wanting to build something. Eight of Cups, the Lovers. Ten of Pentacles. Is this, let me, this is so weird. Because I just got like, it's so strange because I just got like the opposite energy in this, this, reading that I did um I'm 
Do you want me to post this at the same time as that reading? Okay, I guess it goes hand in hand, actually. <clears throat> um, it's just that it's such an energy shift. It's so strange because I just did this really heavy in-depth reading where it was saying that somebody's spirit guides are like pissed on a queen of cups behalf. Like they're pissed that this empress, they're pissed that somebody has had to go through so much for somebody that they've cried so many times. They've been so heartbroken over somebody that keeps, you know, playing games, neglecting them, abandoning them, uh, not, not taking responsibility, not taking accountability, not making changes, just blaming other people. And this is like almost like the opposite energy. It's so interesting because in that reading, it's, it's almost like they could go on a karmic path or a higher level path. If they go down a karmic path, I do feel like there's this Queen of Cups has a spirit guide that's pissed on their behalf. And I did get that. It was It was Hecate for some of you if you're in this energy group. But I, I basically got that if they don't take accountability, it's like there's like a world of bad karma that's coming in for them. And they also have this spirit that they've really pissed off because of this, this spirit is very protective, very defensive over this Queen of Cups that's been heartbroken over this person too many times. Um, but yeah, that was a really heavy energy that I got in that reading. And I really didn't get the sense of them taking accountability. And this is like a whole different reading. So this might actually be for the energy group. Um... These are for the, this is, okay, so this energy group is for the masculines that have been in that energy of not taking accountability, but this is, this is the storyline for the masculines that are going to take accountability now. They're not going to let this Queen of Cups get away. They're not going to let her walk away. They're going to pull her back in. They're going to make amends. They're going to step up. They're going to man up. They're going to be responsible, um, or woman up, whatever, you know, this, this person's going to be responsible. Finally, they're going to, they're going to see the pain that they've caused and the damage that they caused. And they're going to step up and they're going to apologize, or they're going to make some kind of effort. They're going to show this queen of cups that they do have love for her, that they do want something with her. Um, so I guess this is kind of, I mean, it's the same energy group in a way, but it's almost like there's like a split, you know what I mean? Where it's like, the energy group I've been channeling the past week and a half, there's basically this, you know, just, we've just been getting this energy of, you know, some of them are just not going to take accountability. Some of them are just going to try to, they're going to repeat the same karmic cycles over and over. They're going to keep themselves miserable. They're going to, they're going to stay stuck and they're, they're, it's not going to go well for them. Um, but this is, so it's kind of like a divide. Does that make sense? Where it's like, we've been channeling the same energy group and now there's like a split. There's these masculines that are going down the karmic path, doing the same shit over and over again. Just not, you know, not working on themselves, not stepping up. This group is, this is, this energy is for the masculines that are making that choice now because all of them are at a crossroads right now. And this is for the ones that are choosing to pursue this queen of cups, this empress, they're choosing to make the effort. They're choosing to step up. They're choosing to be responsible. They're choosing to really work on themselves and become the person they want to be. So that's this storyline for those that are, are choosing a higher path. Um, anyway, so it took me, sorry, it took me a minute to like realize what was going on here. I was like, this is like a way different energy than what I was getting. So, so yeah, that makes sense. It's the, it's the split. This is, this is for the masculines choosing the higher path. Um, it looks like... Yeah, for those masculines, it looks like they're going to go inward. They're going to do some meditating, some soul searching. They're going to decide that they want to fight for this. They're gonna, they're, they know that it's a battle because they know that she's the empress now. They know that this woman is not going to just go back to being a queen of cups unless she's given a safe space to be in that queen of cups energy. She's not going back to this. This person knows because they're like meditating on it. They're reflecting on it. So I think that they're really in their head right now about... Um, how to make these changes and wanting to make these changes and they realize it's going to be the, a battle and they're wanting to they're wanting to put the the work in they see it nine of wands is like the the wound nine of wands is like the wounded warrior but it's also like a final battle so they kind of it's kind of like they're taking a minute to step back just kind of meditate reflect and then they're like you know what this is this is going to take some effort to get this 
this person to be in the Queen of Cups energy again, to get them to let their guard down again, to get them to be gentle, vulnerable, emotional, but she's worth it to me. I, I want this with her. I want, you know, I, I want this with her. And I think a lot of them are going to recognize too that, you know, you being the empress now, you being in your power is not a threat. It's not a bad thing. They can step up and they can learn to be the emperor and match you and you guys can be a power couple. So it's actually a really beautiful reading. Um, with the tower here, the tower is like overnight changes. It's... I mean, I feel like it's saying two different things here because the tower can be drama. It can be chaos. It's like lots of overnight changes. I think it's saying two different things here. I think for one, it's this person finally taking accountability and saying, you know what? Like, I want the woman I love to to be in this Queen of Cups energy again. But I understand that she hasn't been in the Queen of Cups energy because of, you know, maybe I didn't appreciate her when she was the Queen of Cups. Maybe I didn't take care of her in the right ways when she was the queen of cups maybe i neglected her maybe i hurt her maybe i abandoned her so it's kind of like him saying like i'm prepared for this to be kind of a battle i'm prepared for there might be some arguments or there might be some conversations that really in-depth conversations that need to be had between us they're prepared for that because they want this ten of cups with you happily ever after true love abundance they want this sorry my phone was they want this abundance with you. They want that good energy with you. So they're kind of saying like, you know, I'm I'm ready to, to put the work in. I also see it as overnight change. Like they're they're like they're the tower could be like a grand gesture. Like, I am sorry, please, you know. Like they're gonna say or do something to get this Empress to be in this Queen of Cups energy. You know what I mean? Like they're gonna finally put themselves out there and be like hey like i'm i'm sorry i apologize like i really i i see my i see my role in things now i want us to get on the same page i want us to communicate i want us to work through things i i want to make things right with you um and i think you know like that door is closing but i mean i think if they come in that way you know she is going to be the queen of cups she is going to let her guard down a little bit and be more open because she's like okay this person's being vulnerable this person's giving me a safe space to be vulnerable they're they're expressing feelings they're taking accountability they're making the effort they're showing me that I'm important to them and that they want me in their life. So I think that, you know, I think she will, she might still be a, a little distrusting, but I think that she'll let her guard down and um, be a lot more open with this person, you know, because of this grand gesture, because of this, because of them coming through and really, you know, giving her a reason to maybe give this one last chance. But it does look like, you know, 10 of cups too. It looks like, it looks good. It looks promising. It looks like there is the potential for true love here if they're coming through and doing this. Page of Wands and the Strength card. Hmm. I think it's also saying that they know they have to have strength not to make childish decisions that they've made in the past. They can't play. Pages can be children they can represent children wands can be like a passionate energy with the it was the page of wands right page of wands could be somebody that's like can be somebody that's passionate but somebody who might maybe play games a little bit you know what i mean so it's like they know they have to tame that they know they have to be strong if they want this ten of cups with you they know they have to they know if they hold on to the control issues if it's their way the highway they know that they're going to lose you and so I think that they're putting the work in with the Eight of Pentacles. And then we have Eight of Cups, the Lovers, and Ten of Pentacles. So I think that they're becoming, it's a really beautiful energy for the for the this group of masculines that are actually taking accountability and stepping up. It's it's a really sexy energy. It's really good because it's like they're rec they're putting the work in. I see someone willing to put the work in. Eight of Pentacles is um is is somebody that's you know patient perseverant they're they're putting that effort in the lovers can be about a choice so i think it's kind of saying this person is like aware of the choice they're aware of they're aware that the ball is in their court basically they're aware that the choice is theirs they're aware that it's up to them to make this effort it's up to them to step up 
they understand that whatever choices they make next, that they're understanding just how heavy this energy is and the consequences of their actions right now and also the consequences of inaction right now. If they play games, if they if they try to hurt this woman, if they try to make her jealous, you know, any kind of mind games, um, taking her for granted, neglecting her, not talking to her, any of that, she's going to walk away. That door is closing. She's going to be done. She's going to walk away. She's going to stay in her power. She's not, no matter how hurt she is, she's not going to do, she's not going to repeat this cycle with this person anymore. But they're also realizing, the beautiful thing is they're also realizing that she doesn't have to walk away. They can, they can run and stop her before that door closes and they can have the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles with her generational wealth, like legacy, family, love, like true love, happiness. Um, this is like abundance. It's like everything that you could wa want. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're finally, um, for this group of masculines, they're finally not letting this woman do all the work. They're finally stepping up and starting to become the emperor to match the empress so you guys can be a power couple it's a really beautiful reading but i just love like the energy here of like the choice eight of cups ten of pentacles like they know they have to they know that they have to put the work in if they if they want you to stay they know they have to make the, the grand gesture they have to make the effort they have to say something they have to they have to really own it you know they have to let you know how they how they feel they have to they have to give you a reason to be vulnerable and to give this another try. You know, you're not going to try to rebuild trust if they're not giving you anything that seems trustworthy. But yeah, it's just such a beautiful energy with them taking accountability, though, and, and realizing it's like they're um, like they're realizing how how important like they're realizing that they're at a crossroads. They're realizing how important, how heavy this decision is. But they also feel empowered. It's like for this group of masculines, it's like they feel strong. They feel empowered. They're like, you know, no, I'm not going to let her walk away. Like I'm going to, we're going to have the Ten of Pentacles. We're going to have the Ten of Cups. And you guys can have that. You guys can have, if they, if they do that work, if they really make that effort, yeah, you guys will have that Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, like true love, you know, stability, building a firm foundation together. But I just, I just love this energy because it's like, you know, the thing I love about it is just them realizing that it's like instead of blaming the feminine, like in the other readings, it's like they're just blaming the feminine. They're not wanting to step up. They're not wanting to be in that masculine energy. They're wanting the feminine to do all the work. And in this one, I really get the energy of them wanting to do the work, them wanting to prove themselves, them wanting to do better, them wanting to do right by this woman. And she's going to see that and she's going to appreciate that effort. That's what's going to make her open up and, and want to work with him because she's going to see that he's not playing games. He's not disregarding her feelings or neglecting her. He's really, you know, he's really putting the time and, and attention, and effort and work into this. Even if he stumbles a little bit, he's still being consistently vulnerable and, you know, making sure she feels special, making sure she feels wanted, making sure she feels loved, which is what's going to, you know, slowly get her to open her heart back up and, and rebuild that trust and have this, this firm, solid foundation. But it's just this beautiful energy because he's like, yeah, the choice is mine. Like, I know I have, it's like he's finally coming for this group of masculines. It's like they're finally getting out of that eight of swords victim mentality and they're finally stepping into their power it's just like because i keep looking at these cards and channeling the energy it's just so beautiful because he's like like i have the power like like it's like an epiphany where he's like i have the power wait a minute like she doesn't have to walk away i could you know if i if i don't do anything she's gonna walk away or if i keep playing games yeah she'll walk away but i i have the choice i have the choice i actually can have true love with her i actually there is still one more opportunity for me to for me to step up now and, and get this right and do something four of cups why the four of cups the world yeah because you're ending a cycle of this this empress is ending a cycle of feeling rejected she has a new perspective on that so, and he understands that. So he understands that that's not something that she's going to, um, to tolerate. She is not going to feel unwanted. She's not going to feel like she's not beautiful. She's, 
you know, like he's, he has that epiphany. He's like, he's like, shit, if I don't make her feel beautiful, if I don't make her feel loved, if I don't make her feel wanted, she's going to get that from somebody else. She's going to wrap this cycle up, up because she's tired of feeling rejected. She's, she has a new perspective. You know, he's really seeing this woman as being in her power, but it's just, it's a beautiful thing because for this group of masculines, instead of just like, yeah, they're a little bit intimidated, but they're, they're stepping up to the plate and they're like, inspired by this woman they're like hey maybe i could work on myself and and be in my power too yeah get on the same page two of cups the chariot i i feel like yeah like i said i think she's gonna work with him because she's gonna see that he's trying she's gonna feel the energy you know what i mean queen of swords why the queen of swords five of pentacles judgment yeah she might even make a judgment call on herself where she's like well, tell me more about the judgment. Page of Swords. The Star. Pages can be about communication, too. Yeah, I think she's going to make a judgment call on herself, too, where it's like at first she might be a little bit guarded with this man. But she's going to she's gonna almost... It's like this man has the power to get her out of this Queen of Swords energy. He has the power to get her to go from being a Queen of Swords to a Queen of Cups. Now, this woman was originally a Queen of Cups, and over time, after he hurt her so much, she became a Queen of Swords. But this man has the power to get on the same page with her and turn her from a Queen of Swords to a Queen of Cups. And so I think she's almost going to make a judgment call on herself where she's like, you know what, maybe I don't need to walk away and be defensive and be the Queen of Swords, um, a, like abandonment. She could be the Queen of Swords, too, because of these abandonment wounds. It's like she's not naturally a Queen of Swords, but... If somebody hurts you so many times, eventually you kind of become, you know, hard. You become bitter a little bit. You know what I mean? So, But I think she's going to place a judgment call on herself where she's going to be like, wow, like, I'm really impressed. Like, he's never expressed feelings like that before. Or he's never said I love you first. Or he's never, you know, I always used to have to be the one to invite him out first or invite him to go travel. And now he's the one that's planning a vacation for us or... You know, he's initiating cuddling and I'm not always the one that has to initiate it anymore. Things like that. Like the little things are really going to mean a lot to her. And so I think that, you know, I think that she's going to she's going to make that she's going to come to that decision. She's like, wow, I don't need to be the queen of swords anymore. He's actually really making those little gestures and making those big gestures, really making an effort, making her feel special. Um and so I think she's going to go from being guarded and being completely distrusting to, you know, slowly starting to really trust him again and, and slowly starting to have some faith in this connection again and, and wanting to heal this with him and wanting to plan long term with him. Because he's given her reason to, like I said, she's going to go off what he's showing her. If he's if he's making the, the effort, making those little gestures and the big gestures, then 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 yeah she's she's gonna you know that that ice around her heart is gonna start thawing out if he does the wrong thing it's gonna go those walls are gonna go back up she's not gonna do it anymore but but yeah if he's making those those efforts she's basically he's gonna be taking responsibility and he's you know in the past maybe she gave him maybe she was the one that was trying to give him reasons to to hold on to fight for this and now she's the one that's done fighting and I think he's gonna come through and he's gonna be like wait let's fight for this and she's gonna, she's not willing to go back to being in a masculine role in this connection, but he is finally willing to be in this masculine role. And she's gonna be really turned on by that like alpha, assertive, take charge kind of energy that he's coming forward with. Like she's gonna find that so sexy. Um, she's gonna be really turned on by that. And so I think she's gonna be like, yeah, let's, let's, let's heal this. Let's, Let's, you know, I haven't seen that side of you before. Like, wow, I haven't seen that vulnerable side of you or I haven't seen you like, you know, you've never, you never called me beautiful before. You've never like, you know, we, we've never traveled anywhere or whatever, you know, like different things because the chariot can be traveling too. So for some, this person's like, this man is wanting to like take you on a trip or taking you on vacation. Um, and I think when you guys go on this vacation, you're going to talk about how you want to heal this, but but yeah, it's really beautiful because I feel like them, it's almost like, you know, for you to be in your feminine energy and your nurture, and for this woman to be in her feminine, you know, gentle, vulnerable, nurturing energy, he has to be in the masculine role. 
you you have to it has to balance you know there has to be that balance and so i think that this masculine is understanding that now he's understanding his role in things and so he's going to take charge and be in the masculine role and that's going to allow this woman to be in the feminine role she's going to start slowly going from being a queen of swords to being more you know and even if it takes a little while for the trust to be rebuilt she's going to start trusting him more and more the more effort he puts in, the more the more he shows her that it's safe for her to be vulnerable with him. She's going to start going back to being in a more feminine, you know, loving, nurturing energy because of the actions he's taking, because of the efforts that he's making. And so they're going to balance each other out. So I think she's going to be really turned on and she's going to, yeah, she's going to want to work through this. She's going to want to build long term. She's going to be really proud of him and really impressed with him. Yeah, moving forward together, two of cups, the chariot. Tell me more about how he's feeling. Yeah, because he's having anxiety. He's no, yeah, anxiety, eight of swords, because he knows that he knows that he knows that he's at a crossroads and that there's not, you know, like I said, he knows that this woman is the queen of swords and he knows it's up to him. If he wants her to be the queen of cups again, she, he's going to have to give her reason to be. He knows that. Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, lots of anxiety. I think he's also, let me see. Yeah, he's yeah, he's really just coming to this for this group of masculines, it's like they're they're really just coming to this understanding that you're not gonna do the work for them anymore. They're gonna have to be in the masculine role. But they're gonna be this group of masculines is gonna be surprised like how because I'm getting like a set like a I don't know if it's like sexual, but it's like you're gonna be so turned on like emotionally by this person stepping into a masculine role. I keep getting that energy of like you're just gonna be so like Imp you're just gonna be so impressed with them you know what I mean you're gonna be able to get on the same page like a lot quicker than you guys would expect kind of thing because they know if they stay in this eight of swords energy it's just gonna be conflict you're just gonna you're gonna be defensive you're not gonna it's like a it's like a you're clashing you're not gonna get anywhere there it's not gonna move it's just gonna be you know what I mean it's just not going anywhere the only way for it to move forward is if um yeah if they if they step up in that masculine role yeah, and they're they're choosing to be the King of Cups because they know that if they're the King of Cups, they get to have this happily ever after with you. Four of Wands, the Sun. These are such beautiful cards too. This might be somebody that might not even usually believe in true love, or they don't they don't believe in like spiritual stuff or whatever. But I think that they're gonna. It's like they're gonna open up to that, you know. Especially because they're gonna like because there's this fast movement too. And so it's almost like they're gonna they're gonna see things from like another perspective. Yeah. They're taking control to move this from rough waters to calmer waters and have this new start with you. Seven of Cups, Knight of Swords, the Emperor, Three of Wands, Six of Wands. Yeah, because they want this victory with you. They want to be the emperor. They want you to see them in this light. And so they're going to do the work so that you do see them as the emperor again. They don't want to risk disappointing you again. Tell me more about the Southern of Cups and the Knight of Swords. <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. Ace of Cups. Hmm. High Priestess. I think they're going to reveal some truth, too. I think they're going to... Let me see. Ton of Wands is like the like a burden, like something... Like they can't do it all on their own anymore. I think they're going to be really vulnerable with you about what they've been going through. But I think that they're going to be surprised that you're going to be open and you're going to help them through it because they're being vulnerable, because they're not... Like you never expected them to do it all on their own. 
but you're going to be turned on because they're going to be being vulnerable. They're going to be like, hey, I don't know how to do this on my own. They might vent to you about like stresses at work and stuff too, I'm seeing. But Ace of Cups, the High Priestess, it's like, you know, she's intuitive. She's going to help guide him through it. Why the Three of Swords? The Devil, Queen of Pentacles. He might talk to you too about, yeah, because Knight of Wands can be like fuckboy energy. Three of Swords, the Devil. There could have been a Queen of Pentacles that got in the way of this connection. The Hermit. Yeah, an Ace, Hermit and Ace of Swords, Truth Clarity. I also feel like this masculine is taking accountability for if there was a third party or some kind of drama. Because I just keep getting the energy of like accountability. It keeps coming through so strong for this group. So if there was like a third party or someone that got in the way, I just feel like he's going to tell you the truth about it with the Hermit and the Ace of Swords. The Hermit is somebody like going inward. It's like it can be isolation, but I think he's going to tell you, hey, like it's over with this third party. Like there's nothing going on here. And he might honestly just he might be honest too about like what was going on there. Like I had drama with this woman, like she might have done dark magic on us or he might just say like, you know, like, this is, like, maybe, like, opening up to you about, like, wounds from his past, like, women that have betrayed him in the past or just things that he's gone through in the past and kind of trying to, trying to, trying to get you to, he's, he's gonna, it's, it's like, a, there's, like, a balance where he's not trying to sweep things under the rug and he's not trying to play the victim, but he's just gonna tell you his side of things, like, he's gonna tell you, and I think that, you know, this woman will be open to it because he's taking accountability, you know, he's saying, like, hey, I was kind of an F boy or I was kind of, I did kind of mess around or I did this and I messed up. I'm sorry. I want to do right by you. Like I've had time alone to think about this. Um, you know, I do have this wounding from my past. I think this is where this comes from. Like, I do want to get help for this. I, I do have this history of like cheating or I do have this history of, you know, doing certain things that I shouldn't do. Or maybe like there was this woman that was involved, but you know, all like he wants you to know that that's all over with now. He's going to want you to know that you can trust him, that he's going to be loyal to you. Um, so it's like when he vents to you, he's not trying to make excuses for himself. He's just trying to get you to kind of understand his perspective and kind of let you know where his head was at, but let you know that he knows that wasn't okay. And that he wants to, to, um, be more honorable and do the right thing and, and not go back to those old patterns. And I feel like you're going to be really, you know, you're going to help him through it. You're going to be receptive to that because you're going to be like, wow, like he owned it. You know, he admitted that he wasn't loyal in the past or he admitted to being a certain way. Um, you know, like he's, he's making an effort. And so she's going to help him work through these issues. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to be working together. They're not going to, it's not that, that, that him bottling it up and do, doing it all on his own and kind of, you know, holding his emotions back that, that karmic wheel is turning that cycle of them. Maybe they were both holding their emotions back. Maybe both these people were kind of damaged and distrusting. Um, but that, that karmic cycle can, can turn that can, they can get out of that energy and then finally get on the same page where instead of, you know, who's going to talk first, you know, both being, both giving each other the silent treatment or both being kind of stubborn, they're going to end that cycle and they're going to get on the same page and communicate and work together. They're going to really work through things here. And, and, um, yeah, it's, it's a really beautiful reading. Like they're going to finally have open, honest, vulnerable communication. They're going to be on the same page. He's going to be more empathetic. He's going to be more concerned with her feelings, with her, you know, he's going to check in with her more. He's going to be more, he's not going to be so careless with her heart again. You know what I mean? Like he's going to, he's learned that lesson and he wants to come through and win her back. And she's going to be really turned on by that masculine energy. And she's going to, because of the gestures and the effort and the, the open, honest communication, she's, they're going to close this cycle out. They're going to close the cycle out together of them, you know, arguing or not being on the same page or not saying what needs to be said. And they're going to start having open, honest communication, working together as a team, you know, instead of me versus you, it's going to be me and you against the world. Um, and having that 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles, you know, true love. So it's a really beautiful reading. Hopefully most of those masculines do get on this path because, you know, there is, like I said, there's a split. Some of them are going down a karmic path, but this is the, you know, open, honest communication and true love is the potential path for those that choose to, to do the work and make the effort. So anyway, I'll put this out there. I hope that resonates with some of you guys.